the dopamine button. Imagine a rat alone in a cage with nothing but a button and an eerie obsession. Not with food, not with escape, but with something deeper. In 1954, scientists accidentally discovered the brain's pleasure center while poking around in a rat's head with electrodes. When they zapped a specific area, later identified as part of the brain's reward circuit, the rat seemed to love it. So they gave the rat control, one press of a button, one electric zap of dopamine kick. When rats discovered pressing the button triggered that rush, they couldn't stop. Some hit it thousands of times an hour. They skipped food, ignored water, and eventually collapsed, choosing dopamine over survival. Sound familiar? Rat gambling. In one experiment, scientists built a tiny casino for rats. The setup was simple. Four holes, each one gave food. Two were safe, small, steady rewards. The other two were risky, bigger payouts, but with long timeouts or random punishments. They called it the rat gambling task, and it tested how well rats could figure out the smart way to play. Most of them did well, stick to the safe bets, rack up the snacks. But some rats kept chasing the big wins over and over, even when it meant getting less food in the end. They couldn't stop themselves from picking the flashier option, even when it was clearly a bad deal. Kind of like someone losing their paycheck at a slot machine, right? Rat empathy. A free meal isn't always guilt-free. In one experiment, scientists trained rats to press a lever for food. Simple enough, until they added a twist. Every press delivered a mild electric shock to another rat in the second cage. At first, the hungry rats didn't hesitate. A snack was a snack, and the shock was someone else's problem. But then something strange happened. As the pattern became clear and they realized the lever caused the shocks, many of them began to pause, hesitate, and then stop altogether. They seemed to recognize the cost of their actions. Over time, some rats refused to press the lever at all, choosing hunger over hurting a fellow rat. Rat's sense of fairness. It turns out rats hate being ripped off, just like us. In one study, rats were trained to perform a simple task in exchange for food. Sometimes they got a nice reward, like a piece of cheese. Other times, they got nothing. The thing is, they could see what the rat next to them was getting. And when one rat completed the task and ended up empty pod while their neighbor got a tasty snack for the same effort, the reaction wasn't subtle. The rats who got scammed started to protest. Some stopped doing the task. They weren't just disappointed, they were clearly fed up with the unfairness. No one taught them to expect equality, but still, they knew when the game was rigged. The heroin experiment. In this experiment, scientists wanted to see if rats could get addicted to heroin. So they put a rat in a cage with two bottles, one filled with water, the other laced with heroin. Lonely and bored, the rat started drinking from the heroin bottle more and more until it overdosed and died. Drugs are bad. End of experiment, right? Not exactly. Scientists decided to test one more thing. This time they built a rat paradise full of toys, snacks, other rats to play with. And they set out the same two bottles the results were shocking. The rats barely touched the heroin. Maybe a sip now and then, but never enough to overdose. Turns out, the drug wasn't the real problem. It was the cage. It was the emptiness. Think about it. 